Hello, we are at 806 West 136th Street in Burnsville. There's the house. And as you might be able to hear, uh, this house is just a couple doors down from 35W. You look up here to the east and you can see the sound barrier that's in the process of construction being constructed. Um, so in most parts it's there, there is a little gap which gives you a chance to see exactly how close the freeway is. You can also hear the noise. But let's go back to the house, this is a twin home. That's the next door adjoining unit. This is 806, and then we're looking north. Let's take a look west down the street. The twin homes next door. Um, this is a residential neighborhood with three mile per hour streets, although it is kind of a through street because we look that way and it goes to Counter Road 5. And we come back looking south across the street. And then at the end of this road, it curves up to the north and it uh, functions as the frontage road to 35W and then about a half mile north of there it meets up with Burnsville Parkway so it is kind of a through street. Um, final siding on the exterior and from what we can see here the roof looks to be in, uh, in decent condition. Apparently the uh, both sides must have been done at the same time. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any delineation between the two sides and we have got a better view of the neighboring property but um, Looks to be in good condition. The shingles are not turning up. They seem sound. Uh, a little warping near the skylights, but the shingles appear to be in good condition, as does the exterior. Let's uh, go inside. Walk into a laminate floor entryway looking into the rest of the room there's a coat closet right here and behind me is the entrance to the garage on the same level a uh, good sized garage it's got the twin doors um, but good sized ceiling very deep uh, fairly wide so it is a pretty nice garage here um, sheetrock and likely insulated as well insulated doors Uh, so I'm going to take my shoes off. The carpet is in very, very good condition. And we'll start at the front of the house on the main level with the kitchen. It's got a little small eat-in area next to this bay window. Um, real nice cabinets, oak cabinets, some brass handles on there, uh, electric stove, um, Whirlpool dishwasher, uh, countertops are for mica. But everything is uh, really as good as it looks in the picture here. Uh, really good condition, solid. We can go take a look at these windows. They are, uh, for the most part, throughout the house vinyl crank out windows, and they must be fairly new if you can get a look at windows there. Very good condition. Um, doesn't appear to be any moisture intrusion between any of the panes, and these uh, appear to be uh, the situation. New windows throughout the house. Here's a view looking out to the front. There's the neighboring twin home across the street. That's the driveway to this property. Looking back over the kitchen. Sorry, it's hard to give you a perspective on what I'm seeing high and low. There are vaulted ceilings, so there's just a little half wall between the kitchen, the dining room, but pretty decent. There's an island here, and uh, this helps looking through the rest of the kitchen um, and back to the area that I was at you can see the little eat-in area next to the bay window. Heading around the corner there's a living area that's connected to what I would be considered the formal dining area. They've got the chandelier hanging, hanging from the vaulted ceilings with a couple of skylights so theoretically a person uh, could put a table here and have a formal um, dining area that would be obviously adjoining the living room up here. It's got the gas fireplace and uh, the wood railings looking into the lower level. So they're um, talk about what's on this level over here to the corner. So as we look around the layout of this room, that would technically be a bedroom. It's a smaller uh, little room 
with a door it looks like it's been used kind of as an office area the room in the back which we'll go into uh, is kind of a, a sun porch a uh, four season porch but there's no door on it same carpet so it kind of has the same feel as the room we're in and then down the hall is the master bedroom so let's uh, start by going to the little sun porch area we go here smaller space with Another little vaulted ceiling and a ceiling fan. Same newer windows looking out to the backyard. And this is a pretty small space, maybe 8 feet by 13 feet. Um, but it's got access to the deck out here. Here's the view of the backyard. Um, it is a walkout, so even though we're on a one-level house, we're quite a ways above uh, the yard, fenced in yard. Um, and it's adjoining these homes. Um, that run up along the frontage road to 35W. Here's a little deck. And there are stairs that go down to the back. Uh, the wood seems to be kind of aged, um, not in perfect condition, but probably functional if it were cleaned and stained. Um, as you can see, vinyl siding on the exterior of the house, uh, newer soffits under there. So back in to the main part of the house. Again, the vaulted ceiling with the skylights and the entryway. We're gonna go around the corner here into the first of the two bedrooms on this level. This room has a little French doors here. So you can see this would function as an office right now, but a door could be put on it. It could be used as a regular bedroom. It's got the window to the backyard. There's the deck. Really clean, nearly new condition carpeting. Um, and the closet, there's a ceiling fixture in here. Uh, and then back to the door. So this is a fairly small room, maybe uh, nine feet by 10 feet, um, the French door. Go around the corner, a little closet here. Oh, as I see that, uh, mechanism hanging on the wall of this house appears to have uh, a built-in vacuum system in the walls, so that's interesting. Um, here's the master bedroom. Large room, no vaulted ceilings, no ceiling fixture, but windows on two sides. Um, nice walk-in, large walk-in closet, probably six feet by eight feet almost in there. With a light, so let's get the nice walk-in closet. Oh, some cat scratches here from the kitty looking out the window. Right? The windows, this is a side yard, uh, another twin home um, on the west side of this property. It's got the uh, speaker mounts apparently um, built into the walls, which is interesting. And uh, this is a really large room, probably 13 feet by 16 feet. And uh, heading back, looking out the window, and then back to where we came from. That's the entrance where we walked into the room. That's uh, a full master bath. That's a walk-in closet. Let's check out the bathroom. Looks to have ceramic tile or porcelain tile on the floor. It's got this old-fashioned little marble um, vanity, but very deep. It's got the brass light fixtures. Got a nice little dressing table area there. Over here, it's got the full jacuzzi bath. Speaker mounted on the wall there. Um, very, very clean uh, tile on the outside of the bath. Um, clean bath. And there's the toilet. And there, in fact, is a full walk-in shower, a large walk-in shower in here. So um, it's got the bath and the separate shower. Um, so that is the master bathroom. Going back around. Ah, there's a realtor in the bathroom. Okay. Um, heading out of the master bedroom, we'll go take a look the lower level. Starting from the front door where we came in, coat closet, again looking into the house, kitchen on the right, sunroom, 
We'll head down to the lower level. And at the bottom of the stairs, we can take a right and we'll find the family room. That is the area underneath the sun porch. And yeah, there is a uh, hot tub in there. Uh, no windows in this room, but there's a ceiling fan um, and a little built-in area into the wall that would allow for a TV. And there's the nice carpeted laundry room, which we'll check out um, in a few minutes. This is the, uh, it's got the wall-mounted light fixtures. And looking back, this is a really, really large room. Probably 26 feet by 13 feet. And uh, let's check out the uh, little porch first. The hot tub, walk out to the back, little plank floors on top of dirt, which is probably smart. Um, some ventilation, crazy green light. And here is the hot tub. Walk out to the backyard. Around the corner. Two more bedrooms. Here's the first of the two, good sized bedroom. Probably 10 feet by maybe 13 feet there and 11 on the other side. The window to the backyard. Closet, light fixture, right down here. Come around the corner. Again, the carpet super clean all throughout the house. A little narrower of a room, maybe nine feet, but it's still pretty deep, probably 13 feet deep. Looking out to the backyard, and back, another gigantic walk-in closet for this lower level room. Nice closet. Here's the lower level bathroom. It's just got a linoleum floor, there's a toilet, Marble vanity, uh, counters are a little nicked up, or the cabinetry is, but looks to be in good condition. It's got bright, light, bright brass light fixture in the window, and there is a, a fairly large, clean fiberglass inset shower in here. So there's the shower, um, large and spacious bathroom. It's a little utility room here. Um, the furnace is in here. I assume the water heater too. Lennox furnace. Can't tell how old it is, but it looks to be in fairly good condition. Here's the water heater. This looks a little older, just from the uh, little grime built up on the top and the colors. Um, but that's utility room. And again, the laundry room, a little different than most laundry rooms. We'll go back into the main level. So this is the base of the stairs. That's the hot tub room in the back of the property. I'm coming around here. The family room and then finally the laundry area back here which doesn't look like much of a laundry but you can see it's all carpeted there are no windows in here but cabinets where the laundry machines would go there's the laundry tub and a countertop um, that would be where the machines would sit there's the dryer vent um, and this kind of matches the floor of the upstairs where the bay window is in the kitchen and even looking back there's a little more storage space um, underneath the stairs so a very large, spacious, carpeted laundry room, and there's the uh, the sump well. There's not a pump in it, but it's it's dry, and there is a uh, drain tile coming into it. So must be a fairly dry area. It's spring, and there's no moisture in the sump well. So we'll head back upstairs. Even the carpeting is clean on the stairway. the kitchen. So that was the tour of 806 West 136th Street in Burnsville. Thanks for watching.